it's weird. It gets airborne, it gets everywhere. It's not in large amounts, but it, I mean, that machine will like suck it in. My big thing, dude, I want to make it to the day I retire with my original cuff key. I still have. So ma'am, good morning. If you could, please tell me your name, spell your last name, and your position. My name's Cameron Cordy, K-A-M-E-R-O-N. K-O-R-T-E, and I'm a special agent and the public information officer for the Drug Enforcement Administration. Thank you, ma'am. Can you tell us what's going on this morning? Yeah, this morning, the special agents and task force officers with the Drug Enforcement Administration served as state search warrant at this location, and during the execution of the warrant, we found ounce quantities of methamphetamine and fentanyl. Okay, can you tell us what led to this address? Uh, well, I can't talk about an ongoing investigation, but I can tell you that that meth is a serious problem in San Diego. It's the number one drug in San Diego right now and that in 2019 we had over 500 overdose deaths related to methamphetamine in San Diego County alone which is up from about 250 in 2014. So it's doubled in that amount of time. Is that due to fentanyl being mixed into the meth? No, it's uh, historically we've seen meth users use meth and fentanyl users use fentanyl. We're starting to see them using both, but fentanyl, we've also had a significant rise in fentanyl deaths. But this, what I'm talking about is 500 meth related deaths. And what was found in this house, if you can tell us? Several ounces of meth and fentanyl. Okay, and any arrests made? Uh, that's still pending right now. Okay, but there are people in There are people detained? detained right now and most likely will end an arrest. Okay, ma'am, anything you'd like to add? Um, just that, you know, methamphetamine is extremely addictive and uh, its price has significantly decreased due to the supply as most of it comes through the southwest border and in uh, 2020 there was over 500,000 kilos of meth seized in California on the southwest border which is more than 50% of all the meth seized along the southwest border. So California is the main point where this meth comes into our countries and is distributed to neighborhoods like this. Okay, ma'am, thank you so much for your time. Sure.